everything you'll see in the literature is calling for more research into this. Dr. John Mignone is a cardiologist at Swedish Health specializing in heart failure treatment. He knows the impacts when wildfire smoke clogs our skies. We definitely do see higher levels of heart attack at that time. Unhealthy air doesn't only affect the lungs, it can be dangerous for the cardiovascular system. For people with existing pulmonary disease, it can even lead to heart failure and stroke. You have both chemical and fine matter particles that get all the way down into the deepest areas of our lungs and they could sit there and cause oxidative stress. Those are some of the short-term impacts, but could a persistent seasonal onset of wildfire smoke in our atmosphere affect us in the long run? We don't have a complete picture of exactly how wildfire smoke will impact our health, but we are seeing a lot more um, evidence that's suggesting that people who consider themselves to be young and healthy may actually be at higher risk than they previously were perceived to be. Addison Houston is a climate adaptation strategist for Public Health Seattle and King County and says more research is needed. The focus, he says, should be understanding those really small particles in wildfire smoke that measure smaller than PM 2.5. Which is very fine particulate matter that has a diameter about 20 times narrower than the width of a human hair. Wildfire smoke particles can include chemicals, carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxide, and other volatile organic compounds. All these things can cause free radical damage to the DNA. So, so this, is, this is at least what we know about smoking. Dr. Mignone says that could lead to worsened lung function, but more research needs to look at which particles from smoke could lead to those long-term impacts. If there's a particular particulate matter that we could determine is the biggest offender, that's something. But there are very sparse amounts of data about that. The public health department says to avoid spending prolonged time outside when the air quality is bad. And if you must go outdoors, an N95 or KN95 mask will help. It's also recommended to install a MERV filter indoors to filter out any harmful particles. For HealthLink, I'm Christine Pei.